Welcome to Maroon Talk, the only segment dedicated for anything and everything. UP Fighting Rooms. I'm Pim Moran, batch 2010 from UP Lisbanias. Enzo Regondola, batch 2010, UP Diliman. Welcome Whoa. back, bro. Parang, back. parang kailan lang, parang kailan lang opening day. Tapos ngayon, round two na tayo. Grabe, grabe. At dahil nga dyan, no, buti, nabigyan sila ng one week break. Pagkatapos ng... Wala pa nga tayo isang buwan na bakbakan. Wala. Parang this, three weeks lang. This, this, no, this, this season 84, no? So, pag-usapan natin ng ano, UP vs. NU. The second round matchup. Ang first game natin, the second round, no? We faced NU mm-hmm. in Juros, Pesky. Always dangerous NU Bulldogs team, no? And I'm actually happy na we got this off our ano agad up off our chests tama ba yun? yep we, fi- we won the game syempre we t- final score was 84 to 76 in favor of the UP Fighting Bruins um, but then again the final score does not dictate the whole story of the game which is pretty much a Carl Tamayo show grabe yung Carl Tamayo Grabe yun. Nung pinapanood ko sa live nung kahapon, Tuesday, sa office ako nun eh. Ay, dapat pala hindi ko sinabi yun. Baka ay, marinig ng... Ay, yeah. ay nasa... Mali, de, mali. Napanood ko yung replay. Replay na lang pala. <laughs> Panood ko yung replay. Tapos, grabe yung first half. Parang, yung first half, yung talagang Carl Tamayo show. Oo. Kasi, first half pa lang, parang 17 points na ata siya. Oh, mga ganun. 12, 15, parang ganun. Ata, at new sure. Basta, Basta may, may point nung second quarter na parang ganun yung pinakitang graphic. Parang 16 or 17 points at that point nung second quarter. So talagang majority of the points he scored first half. And yun, nung second half siguro, yun, may adjustments ng NU um, against him. And yun, kaya nung second half, naka-konti na lang yung score niya. Pero, still, it was a very good breakout game for the, siguro, front runner for Rookie of the Year. Yes. Ito na yung nabangan natin lahat na breakout game niya, honestly, for this season. All talked about yung yung caliber ni Carl Tamayo as a player, as a rookie, as a recruit as a top recruit of the VUP. Yep. So, ito na, lumabas na talaga. I mean, uh, nung mga early games, nakikita naman natin yung flashes of brilliance niya. Especially, nung pinakita rin niya yung, uh, nung stint with Gilas. No? So, alam natin na, it all, it, it was just a matter of time. Kailan niya ipapakita yun this season sa UAP. No? And ito na yun, ito na yung game na yun. And luckily, it was against, uh, his former team, his former school, and you. Mm-hmm. Kaya alam kung may, 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 may bearing yun dun sa mindset niya heading into the game. No? But if it did, it worked. Kasi he was hitting his shots early on. And that proved a very big difference for the Maroons early on in the game. Kasi after the first quarter, he finished at 26 and 14 in favor of UP. So, oh. Part sa nung quick start, I mean, isa yun sa mga pinopoint out natin early in the season na pangit lagi na start. First quarter, lagi tayong tinatalo ng kalaban natin. Pero, yun, nakita naman natin the past few games towards the end of round one, tapos ito, first game ng round two, na, yun, yung first quarters natin improving and nakita naman with this with this particular game not scored them by 12 in the first quarter so way to get out of the gates talagang impose impose your will agad yung team um especially yun Carl Tamayo ilang three pointers yung na shoot niya nung first quarter pa lang eh. i mean it, it, he was he was siguro being forced to shoot kasi ang daming Ilan doon mga open attempts eh, from three. Siguro that's the game plan of NU early on na um, let him 
kill us from outside rather than down low in the post. Mm-hmm. So yun, it I guess he made them pay for that strategy. Kaya yun. Mm-hmm. Big first half. Yeah. Actually, well, napansin ko rin ito nung FEU game. Parang, ewan ko ah, hindi ko alam kung tamad lang yung uh, mga nakamamatch, nakakamatch up niya. Pero like, in the FEU game, uh, as we, to, in Tobin Peel mention, parang daming open shots talaga na binibigay. Not just for Carl, pero pag sa three points, at least for the, these last two games, no? yun yung napapansin namin. Maraming open shots. Siguro nga, if that's the game plan, napapansin nila na medyo inconsistent pa yung three-point shooting. Oo. Oh, oh. no, kung yun yep. lang yun, yun uh, siguro it would change uh, now na pinapakita na niya yung consistency, consistency niya from deep range. Siguro ano din eh, yung, yung open shots na nakukuha ng UP. Ewan ko, parang is it a result of the zone defense na played against UP? Oh. Parang, kasi pag, I mean, ganun talaga yung, ano eh, yung weakness, I guess, ng, ng zone defense. Talagang you will give up open outside shots. So, effective siya kung yung, kala- yung offense hindi magaling mag outside shots. Mm. Siguro ganun nga yung ganun nga yung strategy against UP kasi hindi naman talaga tayo parang ganun ka f- lakas yung firepower outside. I mean, effect sa percentage wise parang hindi siya ganun yun nga hindi, as film said, hindi siya ganun ka consistent yung yung UP. So, hindi lang si Carl pero lahat ng lahat ng shooters natin. Um, shooters, shooters. Basta yung yung nabibigyan ng open shots from three. Hindi sila ganun ka-consistent. So, yun, I guess that's why nakukuha natin open looks na yun. Kasi alam nila, alam ng kalaban na malamang sa malamang hindi yan papasok. Pero, so yun, that's something to work on, I guess, moving forward. Na, yun, work on the outside shot. Make the opo- make the defenses pay for leaving them open. Kung bagay siya sabi ni Sowis, hindi yun yung calling card or identity ng team natin ngayon. At, I mean, at this stage of the season, no? we're not oh. known as a consistent threat from downtown. But yun nga, luckily, nung, uh, nung pinapalag yung highlights kanina, nung NU game, Carl was making shots from downtown. Richie was making shots early on as well. From mm. downtown. So that proved uh, a fact na we scored 26 points in the first quarter, which was kind of enough already to hang on through the second half runs ng NU, uh, which then uh, evolved to the end game. No? Fast forward to the end game. Complete uh, lang natin yung game story. No? Fast forward to the fourth quarter. Um nagkakaran yung NU nung third and the uh, early part of the fourth quarter. So medyo dumidikit yung game nun. Then mm. come, there was a stretch after that, say halfway to the fourth, na hindi na sila makashoot. Okay. Oh, yep. I would like to, uh, to credit that to UP's defense. Oh, let's say, if, if, if it's possible, if you want to watch it again, let's say, hindi lang talaga sumusot yung bola ng NU. But, siguro for me, uh, given that, hindi mo rin naman masasabing stop yun kung hindi mo nare-rebound yung bola. Eh, nare-rebound ng UP yung bola nung time na yun. So, yes. That, yes. That's the difference. Uh, yun yung sinasabing uh, finish your possession. Finish the defense. Yan. So, oh. if you don't have the ball, let's say, pinatira mo, wala kang foul, wala kang turnover na finors. Pero, let's say, nag-offensive rebound sila ulit, yung kalaban mo. They get another chance of scoring. So, you did not finish your defense. So, yun. Hmm. Yung, parang wala lang. Parang wala nangyari. So, luckily, in this game of runs, nung 
in UP in, UP in the second round, we got to, UP got to uh, execute their defensive adjustments nung, sec- nung fourth quarter, third, fourth quarter. Um, which then gave us the, the lead, uh, 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 a significant lead down the stretch heading to the final minute. Tapos, yun, medyo nagkagulo nung final minute. Oh. <laughs> oh, parang ang sama, nung, ang sama nung last one minute na yun. Kinabahan pa ako nun kasi parang baka makasut bigla yung end nyo ng daming, ang daming chances, di ba? Ang daming opportunities nila na lalo na yung last 30 seconds ba yun? Oo. Oh. Puro, puro turnover UP tapos puro Mabalang open shots yung NU. Yes. <laughs> so, lumigit ng 6 ata. Oh, 6. Lumigit ng 6. With, uh, I think, 36 seconds remaining. So, but for me, medyo ano na yun. I can let that go. Pero hindi, syempre, hindi natin pwede i-let go yun kung matalo tayo because of that. But, siguro nga, sinuwerte lang din yung NU that time and they made Uh, baskets late in the game kaya lang buti na nga lang we got to finish it uh, the game as well and come out with the win okay tsaka But, ano din credit din sa defense ng NU nung last minute na yun kasi ayaw. yung full court press talaga nila parang hirap mag inbound yung UP nun eh. yes kasi yes. inbound pa lang after the timeout ba yun or basket deflected agad so yes. okay din mahigpit din naman talaga yung defense sa NU pero hindi kinulang sila yung ter- yung kinulang lang sila hmm. parang too little too late sabi nga nila ano si sabi na uh, basketball is a 40 minute game di ba ibabalik na naman natin oh yun, yes basic lang basic lang easy 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 lang tayo so dahil dun luckily let's uh, give uh, let's let's broaden the spectrum Luckily, we got two wins against NU in this season. So, check na tayo doon. Check NU. Check. Double check. Now, abangan natin ay FEU. Which is still a struggling team at this, at, at this stage of the season. So, kung titingnan natin ng ganyan, sa totoo lang medyo alanganin na sila. <laughs> so, yun itong sa ngayon. Ano, ang FEU is 3 and 5? Tama ba? Ang ganun. Kasi natalo sila ng Adamson nung kahapon din. Oo. Oh. So, natalo, natalo, May natalo, plan. So, currently, nasa two-game losing streak sila. They still have to face NU. They still have to face UE. They still have to face Rasal. So, they still have to face Ateneo. So, umbaga, yung road to the final for an FE ngayon is kind of shaky already for, let's say, the third or fourth slot. Fourth slot na lang. Sabihin natin fourth slot. Let's say, fine. Third or fourth slot. Kasi solo second tayo eh. So... Oo, oh, pwede pa. Pwede pa mag third. Assuming magkaroon sila ng some winning streak. Tapos... Sino ba ahead, nila, ahead sa kanila? NU. 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 Oh, kung, kung ang NU naman magkaroon ng losing yeah. streak of oh. their own. Yun yun. yun Pwede yun. sila. Pwede pa rin. Pwede pa rin. Yun yun. Pwede rin namang umangat pa rin ang Adamson. Di ba? Yung pinag-usapan natin ni Tobi, yung PL na yung Adamson kasi yun yung parang NU nung season 82. So, nung first round nila, lahat ng talo nila and they finish that. Masakit. 1-6 kung hindi ko eh 1-6 lahat ng talo nila was just like by 3 points or less so let's say mm-hmm. let's say they turn that over in the first round and the second round and convert all those uh, losses into wins may chance pa sila maka final four pa rin so medyo magulo yung meron ano. tandaan natin na Nung season 81, ang UP, 3 and 4 din after round 1. Tapos, ewan ko, parang nag 3-5 nga rin ata. Pero, we finished the season 8-6. Yep. So, 
tas nag final four tayo tas nag finals tayo so you know maraming pwedeng mangyari pa sa season mahaba-haba pa siya for FEU um yun just look as recently as season 81 UP meron silang blueprint doon yep pero ang maganda dito tulad ng pinag-usapan namin ni Zoe kanina meron tayong one week break one yes. week break na after all the hype the excitement the ano tawag doon yung pagka-overwhelm ng mga players natin in these recent weeks sobrang alam ko na overwhelm sila with all the stuff that's happening agad-agad coming from a stagnant basketball ano schedule at tataka ka rin no bakit but kaya yung first game ng round 2 hindi na lang dinelay din ng exactly. one week hindi <laughs> 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 na lang sinimula next Tuesday yung first game ng second round hindi na hindi natin mag honestly siningit pa nila yung ano well, siguro nga talagang hindi ko naman alam kung bakit Pamadali. pamadaliin talaga ano kaya rason dun di ba Uh, but then again, that's, that's, that's what it is. So it is what it is. We face FU up next. Again, a dangerous FU team. We face them before facing NU. So, kailan lang tayo naglaban ito FU? No? Ilang araw lang. And we also... On Saturday lang. We almost also lost to them. So, tingnan natin yung magiging adjustments ng game plan ni Coach Olsen. Kasi I'm sure they'll be hungry for a win kasi nga two-game losing streak sila as of now. Kakalaman, if, if, if we win this, para sa akin, atin ang number two. Hanggang dulo. Ano ba yun? Pag nanalo tayo dyan, eight, no, eighth win na yun. Eighth one. Yes. So, at, well, at least, tingin ko with eight wins, meron ka ng medyo sure na yung final for appearance mo. Mm-hmm. Mathematically, hindi. Pero, the way the team is playing, parang, medyo assured na tayo ng final for at least. Number two, may malaki rin yung chance na malock up natin yung number two maaga-aga. Yep. So, Um, okay, uh, after that, ang isipin naman natin is yung kung magkakaroon ba ng step ladder o kung magkakaroon ba ng final four. <laughs> Ay, nako. Ewan ko lang. Pero sana tayo yung maging cost ng pagkakaroon ng final four. So, let me... Tulad nga nang, tulad nga nang tinweet ko nung Saturday ata yun. Meron tayong chance to go against Ateneo with a 12 game winning streak. Yes. Correct. Correct. So, kung if ever if yun nga, if everything goes well, we have all the momentum facing Ateneo. Of co- although of course Ateneo is on a 30 plus game winning streak. Mm. So, yun. Magandang laban yun kung, kung maging ganun nga yung outcome. So it could, it could go either way na i-extend natin yung winning streak na yun and isirain natin yung winning streak nila. Finally, after how many? Oh, no. Ang gandang ano pala nun, ang gandang narrative pala nun. Mayroong dalawang double-digit winning streaks na magtatapat. Yes. Tapos something is gotta give, di ba? If you're not there on May 1, Sunday at 7pm for the UP Atene game, hindi ko alam kung bakit. Pero this is the final game of the elimination round. This is the final game of... This is game number 14. Ah, game day number 14 of UAAP season 6, uh, Kahit sabihin natin tambakan tayo ng Atene which is a possibility which kasi they're, they're, they're doing that to every team they face. Okay lang yan kasi I mean it's still a UP Ateneo game. It's pretty much what 
the closest we have to a modern UAP rivalry right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, well, it's always a game to watch. And kasi naman, yung unang game natin natin yung Pitene, weekday din. And then, sorry. De, Saturday yun. Game. Pero, Walang alam naman, first game yun. First game of the season. So, kinakalawang pa tayo, nakangapa pa tayo. Hindi pa natin, parang hindi pa nila alam kung paano talaga maglaro with each other. Pero ngayon, kaya nyo naman, parang every game UP plays, nag improve sila. Based on my observation, the team is playing better and better per game. Siyempre may lapses, konti. May kont- ibang players na parang nag pa rin. Nagsasarili pa rin. Nagpapapogi pa rin. Pero... Pero in general, di ba? Generally, di ba? Talagang nakikita mo yung ball movement, yung player movement. Maganda eh. Maganda. Ang sarap niya panoorin para siyang season 81 UP. Oh. Lalo na nung second round season 81 UP na parang grabe. Grabe offense. No? Grabe yung chemistry. Yun. Kumbaga nagkakaamuya na sila. Oh. And uh, kita mo yung MSC medyo ano din medyo maganda rin yung MSC sabihin natin kung maglalagay natin sa 100% medyo na sa mga 85 to 90% na parang ganun kung sa 2 oh. may, may green na yung MSC ng team Oo, oh, tama may green na <laughs> That's good, no? That's good So hopefully tuloy-tuloy lang yung, yung, yung moral yung moral ng team na to and luckily we get to pick at the very very right time which is facing at the end sana munya sana then let's worry let's sana natin pag uh, pag ano pag uh, isipan yung ano yung final four after that sa so, uh, them first Carl Tamayo sarap panoorin pagka talagang pag nakuha niya yung bola sa loob men para sa hindi rookie yung, uh, yung footwork niya yung mga galaw niya sa post parang para sa hindi rookie talaga ang dami niyang moves so, ang dami niyang moves sa pwedeng gawin o oh, ang dami niyang moves na alam mo yun start siya sa left ano left dunker spot tapos may moves siya magagawa tapos finish siya dun sa right side ng basket Parang, paano yun? First year ka lang, tapos ganyan ka na. Paano pa kung, yes. di ba, paano pa kung maging third year player na siya? Exciting. Very, very exciting. Prospect natin talaga. So, alam niyo na, ngayon alam niyo na kung bakit hype na hype kami yun naman. Nag-announce siya na he's committing to UP. So, again, we'll see more of that. Pretty sure. Also, side note, Joe, pag-usapan na natin, Slowly and slowly, little by little, parang napapansin mm. natin with the games na nangyari, parang medyo nagiging may, may, may small light at the end of the tunnel na, na parang medyo beatable na yung matinig. May, may, may feeling ka bang ganun? Parang, parang, I mean, pinan- pinaparad ko yung Lasal Ateneo game kagabi. Tapos, I mean, syempre malayo pa rin yung score at the end. Pero kung papanood mo first half, parang kaya eh. Mm-hmm. I mean, Lasal yun. Lasal is, we're better than Lasal. I can, I can confidently say we're better than Lasal. Tapos, kung kaya nilang di kita ng ganun, yung Ateneo. Parang, kasi, yun nga, Ateneo, sinabi yun sa broadcast ko, Ateneo pounces on the smallest mistakes. So, kung ma-minimize mo lang yung mistakes na yun, given our talent, given how how much better we are than Lasal, kung compare mo yung games, medyo kaya nga. Medyo kaya. Huwag lang magkaroon ng mga mental errors na yung un- unforced turnovers na yun. Kaya eh. 
may, may chance talaga. May, may, y- umaga yung belief natin is medyo higher than previous years. No? So, kasi we're just oh. this on previous games as well. Kasi tayo. Tinalo, uh, tinalo nila tayo but then it was just only nine. Nine points. Tin- tinalo nila ang NU. NU. NU Bulldogs. By just only ten points. And of course, last night, they beat Lasal by just seven points. So, call us crazy, call us idealistic, pero we believe na meron ng, ano, medyo bubo ka na, bubo ka na yung opening for that streak of the Blue Eagles to uh, end. Yes. Oh, yep. I mean, we respect Parang, you, we respect the team, mm. admire the team, admire the Blue Eagles, but I mean, the whole UAP, other schools of the UAP want them, what to beat them already. Kasi, syempre, syempre, I mean, that's the main goal right now. To be higher than you know, for any school participating in the UAP right now. Oh, eh, kasi, I mean, we, we all know that Ateneo is has been on the top for ilang seasons na five five seasons na ba <laughs> mga ganon pero sa sila katagal on top of the mountain na uh, of course everyone wants to be them and they're still alam naman nat alam naman natin they're still the best team in the UAAP pero we're just seeing na ano yun, our confidence in UP is growing by the by the day yung confidence yun talaga eh, parang yung confidence natin sa team natin tumataas kasi yun nga nakik- na- nagsi-settle into their own roles na yung mga players natin nakikita natin yung ano dapat yung gawa- galaw talaga ni Carl ni Zeb Lucero ni May May Kagolangan who is, y- 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 yung tatlong yun emerging as the big three ng UP. Tapos, yun. I think just because our players know their roles in the system, meron na tayong, mas, mas meron tayong chance talaga to finally, finally beat that blue giant over on the other side of Katipunan. Yun, we'll see. We'll see what happens. No? But, tama. Tama yung sabi. So, umaga yung... Ah, what's right? Yung, yung... Yung belief ng... Yung... Ano ba? Tawag yun. Talent natin ni Yosa always been here. Always been here in the top. Pero slowly but surely, yung UP natin, medyo... Umano, umangat siya. Let's see. I, I, I'd call it out already. Medyo exponential yung growth ng team together uh, at this at this stage of season. So, kaya yung belief natin medyo umahal na. Medyo umahal na kayo yan. So, hopefully, hopefully mayayari. So, yun, hindi naman masamang, masamang, masamang mangarap, di ba? So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Coming games. Pag-usapan namin ni Zoe kanina kailan sa manonood. Madami naghanap sa kanya sa MOA. Medyo <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Ano eh, um, office every day. So, weekend games, wala na yan. Ay, weekday games, wala na yan. Tapos yung Saturday game, may ano, may binyag ako pupuntahan. Same time as the game. So, gustuhin ko man, hindi <laughs> na lang makapunta. So, sa May 1, kita-kita lang tayo. So, pala, ba pwede ka nung 28th Thursday, 7pm UST. Baka kaya masingit yun. Gabi naman eh. Yun na natin. Pwede yun. Ano yun eh. Anniversary namin yun eh. Ay puta. Kaya... Lahat lang, lahat na lang sinabayan nyo, UAE. Lahat na lang sinabayan nyo sa mga buhay namin. Ba't ba ganun? <laughs> Kasi ba't ba kayo nagmamadali eh? Kung sana dalawa o tatlong games lang per game day, hindi sana pwedeng... So, schedule natin. Oh, mas maluwag sana sa schedule. Eh, mamadali kasi kayo eh. <laughs> Mang kitong mahabol sa inyo. <laughs> okay. See, that's it. We have one week to process our thoughts. 
to reflect on our ano, on ourselves as well. Ay, teka, teka. May, may, may tatanong pala ako. Kung bibigyan mo ng grade yung first eight games ng UP, anong one to ten, anong bibigay mo? Lucky na. Lucky na eh. Um... Nung first round, mas marami pa rin yung EV games won. Mm. So, kung ibabase natin dun, nasa mga six. Pero kung i-add mo na ngayon yung end new game, pwede na siya umangat ng seven. Mm. So, yung game okay. na yun. siguro sa akin, seven. Pwede. Oh. Ako... Ako bibigay mo mas mataas mga 8.5 kasi where the team is now parang it's parang kung papanoorin mo yung team ngayon versus the team nung game number one parang layo na niya eh. layo na yun, malaki na yung nag-grow niya so because of that development 8.5 kahit na, yun nga, despite the bad games early on, ano na siya eh. Kung baga sa akin, ano na yun, part, part of the parang growing pains na lang yun. Kasi nga, bago yung team, bago yung coach, bago yung system. Pero, nung nakuha nila, biglang boom, umakit, umangat bigla. So, 8.5 for the first 8 games of the season. Heading into the break. Um, yun. Kayo, ano ba sa tingin nyo ang anong grade nyo sa UP? First eight games of the season. Heading into the break. Agree ba kayo sa amin? Tingin nyo ba mas mababa? Meron pa tayo, ano, sige, fine. Sabi, ano, meron tayo consistent na nag-comment na person. Ibusahin na nga natin yun. Ano, ang happy ko lang. Shout out to you, sir. Paano to? Ano ba sa main zone? Ano ba sa main zone? Sa ano ba to? Sa Facebook. Facebook. Kaya lang tagal niya ata. Matagal na yung fine yung last ano kasi hindi na ako nagpo-post pa ng final score since the Adamson game. But shout out to you Mr. Paolo Catalan. Uh, thank you for sharing your ano, insights with us uh, after every after game sa comments sa Facebook. If you want to get shout out as well, yun tulad nyo. Comment din sa Facebook page natin. That's Maroon Talk. So let us know what you think. And uh, who knows, we, we might bring this up here sa episode and read it to you guys. Kasi, yep. yeah, ito naman talaga ito eh. Ito naman talaga yung bakit may Maroon Talk eh. It's for the fans. It's for UP. So, lahat tayo here on the same team, on the same page. So, parang UP lang din, parang nung studyante tayo, we, uh, we, op- we are open to any type of uh, insight, open to any type of opinion here. So, if you want to discuss, we are free to discuss. Usapan yes. Natin. And we will respect each and everyone's opinion. Mali pala yun, huwag yun. We will respect each and everyone's opinion. Parang ano yun, parang tagline yun ng mga... Nandun. Okay. Mali, mali. Huwag yun, huwag yun, huwag yun. Mga nakapula. Ito pa yun. Sige. Hindi ko alam. So, hope to see you soon sa games. Sana naman. Oo nga eh. Sana naman. Maraming pong nangyari. We have six games left. Um, Tingnan natin. We'll go one game at a time. Pag-uusapan natin yan. And we need you guys here with us. No? So our Maroon Talk cult following. Thank you for being here. <laughs> yes. Thank you, guys. Iba no, talaga kayo eh. Ano yung meron tayo mga new followers? Yung, yung ano natin, medyo subscriber count natin, medyo tumataas. So thank you if you're not from UP. All the more, you're welcome here. Nakod lang kayo, comment na kayo. You guys are welcome here. Maraming salamat. So, anything else? Maraming tayong paalam. Ano lang, enjoy the Holy Week. Um, dasal kayo, 
pagdasal niyo yung UP, pagdasal niyo na makapagpahinga sila ng mabuti, walang ma-injure, pagdasal niyo, yun. Yun lang. Yun lang. Tapos pahinga tayo kasi one, an- ano din niya, ilang, ilang days yan na weekend, basically. So, yun. Rest up, guys. It's been a, an exciting and stressful season 84. Chill-chill muna tayo. Chill tayo. Konti. Konti. Konti lang. We all need this break. No? So everyone out there, uh, hope to see you guys in the games. Um, use this time to relax. In the, no? Everyone needs this break. And come uh, April 19 versus FEU, kakalaman tayo ulit. Crucial game ahead. So let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. This has been Maroon Talk, everyone. Maraming salamat po. In behalf of Enzo, Rigondola, I'm Fim Moran. UP Fight, everybody. Thank you, guys. UP Fight. Ingat, Zoe. Ingat. Ingat, bro.